that's 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 probably it, my thing because it's going from one extreme to another. It has been hot in the past few days and running in and out the house, you know, going from that one extreme to the other. But I was just sitting in the van and I was active and uh I just suddenly became, you know, I'm the, I just came in and sat down and relaxed and things like that. You know, but everything's good, you know, I'm not complaining. No, I'm not I'm not gonna complain. I I just take it, I accept things for what they are. Yeah. So, it don't uh, make any, it really makes it can be cold as hell, it can be hot as hell, it can be earthquake. I don't you know, I just have to deal with whatever it comes. There's that's nothing right, that's right. right there, so. That's right. We are adaptable creatures, uh, you know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Adapt or die. That's one that's that's all you can do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then right. too, if you believe in the afterlife, <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, you, you know, know, you die, go to you go die and go to the next to the next transition, whatever. The, whatever yeah, that yeah, is. yes, yes, yes. Exactly. Exactly. But exactly. I want to. Uh, I want to welcome you, brother. I, I will show. I will show my face, but I'm sort of raggedy. <laughs> okay. 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 It's all right. Sometimes I get a little raggedy. Um, yeah, your, gonna... your name is is this the uh, Talib? That I be uh, you know, we talk back and forth for well, time. I show, time. Myself, I show myself for a minute. People know how I roll. I really don't even be giving up. I don't really care. I show myself for a second. I just all right. That's up to you. Like yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It's you. It's you. It's you. <laughs> all right. I'm just raggedy. Don't ain't shaved in a while. Just chilled out. Oh, he done dropped off. All right, where you go? All right, where did he go? Oh, he come back. He come back. Hey. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Are you ready to get this party started? Yeah, yeah. Of course, we'll have to lay some uh, ground rules, right? Because I said, you said the, uh, your thing is, you know, the thing is prove God exists, right? Yeah. So we need to lay out some... Uh, well, I have nothing. I mean, it's, it's, your, it's your baby. I don't, I'm just going to sit back in the cut and let you do your, all right, do all right, all right. Well, I, I, the way I would do that is through the proof, through the uh, Bible, through the Holy Bible. I mean, just bring, bring whatever. I mean, I'll, I'll add my uh, comments after you throw down. Okay, okay, okay. I have, I have no comment. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So your thing was to prove that God first exists. Of all, first of all, before you get started, why don't you uh, introduce yourself to. Uh, to, to the audience and give them a little bit of background, then get into your uh, dissertation. All right, dig the move. All right, oh, hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Clyde Boozer. They call me blessed. I'm uh, 51 years old. I'll be 52 on the 3rd of August. And I'm not anybody in particular, but I am uh, a believer in God. And I believe that I believe there is a God and I happen to know his name. Uh, I know what he is. I know who he is. And I know, you know, that he, he exists. And that's, that's the basic of this uh, live here, because the question was, prove God exists. Is that right? Yeah, prove that, that God exists. All right. And, and, and if, if it's OK, the way I would do that, is to build off base. May, may I clarify? I'm listening. I'm I listening. Want to clarify. Do God exist in real time? In real time, right now, right now, right okay. now. All right. So uh, I'm glad you just said that. You don't believe that God exists, right? I'm no. just asking a question. No, no, sir. Okay, 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 okay. Do you believe in love? 
That's an do emotion. You, I, don't, I don't have to believe in love. I, that's an emotion. I don't have to believe in love. Do you believe that love exists? The emotion of love exists. Okay. Well, my proof that God exists, because it's written in the scriptures, that God is love. And anybody you see who has a genuine love and affection for the other, that's God. I could end everything right there. And I could show you the scriptures to say exactly what I said. God is love. Something else God is. God is a spirit. Okay. That's it. That's all. Hey, hold on. I ain't going nowhere. All right. Hmm. All right. You want them scriptures? Because I said that I would prove it through the word of God, which is God, uh, which is the uh, words of the script, the holy scriptures, which is the Bible. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Well, but do you read the Bible? Because I can read just, it before. You've read it before. Many, well, many do you believe the words in the Bible are true? No. Then I really, I mean, you know, we wouldn't even go no further because that's the way that's the way I would prove that God is love right there. Because I believe that those words are true. Period. Ain't no way around it. They well, absolutely love, love, love is, is what? Love is an emotion. Yes. Yes. And anybody can feel love. Love is an emotion. And anybody can feel love, just like hate. Anybody hey, can feel hate. Anybody, can feel, anybody can feel joy. Uh, anybody can be depressed. These are emotions. You can't be. You can't be. That's not a. That's an emotion. That's not a being. Hey, look. That's look. not a being. It's not love what. Is not a being. It's an emotion. Hey, look. What? The, what? Hey, look. I said that I would prove it through the scriptures, right? Right. But you. You still didn't even prove through the scriptures because, because love is not a being. I, you know what? You know what else? You know what this here else is going to expose? Yeah. What you know. What you know. I'm going to get the scripture right now because I, I, I just basically I know scriptures in my head, but I, I don't know where they are, but I could pull them up. Now, watch this going to prove what you know. See, you said you don't believe in God. Therefore, what I happen to know is that you don't know God because God is love. As I said, now watch this. Watch this. I said I will prove God through the scriptures. So this is my basis right here. All right. And it's going to show me. See, the word of God is also which is God. The word of God is God. The word of God also is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Wait a minute, what, what is your source? What is your source? The Holy Bible. I told you that from the beginning. How do you know that's the word of God? Because I believe that this is the word of God. Truth is truth is absolute, period. You can't so you just know Bible, around it. So on the Bible. Hey, look, God, look, look. God, is, God is the author. Yes, he's the author. He's the author. Yes, so he's the author the and the finisher. Right now, right? He's the author and the finisher of everything. Wait a minute. Right, let's exactly. not get, let's not, let, hold up, hold up, hold up. Stop for do a you, minute. Do you have the Bible in your hand right now? Yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got a word in my hand right now. Okay, show us where this is written by God. Hey, look. Okay. I'm going to show you how it was written. No, I'm show you. no, you said you said that the book is is the is the word of God. God is the author. 
So show, show us, because I can go grab my Bible. And I'm go never, grab I, your Bible. Go grab I, your Bible. I read, I read a, a few Bibles, and I've never seen on the cover where it said this. I God, I wrote this. It never. Oh, so I, that's I, where, so that's where you've been on the cover. You haven't been through the book, right? Let me let me let me okay. go ahead and get a scripture look, for you. Look, go whenever you buy a book, whenever you buy a book, like say for instance, Roots by Alex Haley. When you get the book Roots, it's gonna say KJV, by Alex. By Alex they were moved Haley. by God, KJV. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. if the book, if the Bible or the Holy Quran comes from God, that means that God should be the author. The Holy Quran written by Allah. The Bible written by this unspecified God, because God is a title. I don't know who this God's person names is. We don't know. Uh, even Allah know, is a title. I know. See, see, I said that this would prove what you didn't know. I, I said that this would prove what you didn't know. It's a lot that I don't know. All right. I admit it's a lot that I don't know. But like you said, you don't believe in God. You don't, you don't believe that this word is God, nor that it is his word, period. We shouldn't have to, shouldn't have to believe. Hey, 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 no, hey. No. Hey, you, hey, check this out. Check this out. Do you believe somebody love you? I can believe that. They can also, they can tell me that. I can't, I can't decipher. You can't fathom to imagine either, can you? I said I mean, it's going to speak a lot about you, what you don't know. I, I mean, if you wouldn't keep going on and let me continue, and I can stay directly on course with this, I, I said I'm going to show you what you didn't know. You, you started asking me questions. I told you, you can come here, hey, do your dizzy, and I'll be quiet and sit back in the cut. All right, well, you sit back and listen to me. Questions. All right, yeah, I'm going to question you from time to time, but check this no, out. Don't I question said, me. Don't said, question me. Wait okay, till you're okay. done. Wait till you're done. Do your dizzy. And then whatever I have to, I can bring in my little two cents, and then you can respond to my little right. two cents that I bring All in. Right. All this right. Is, this is your baby. This is your thing. Do your thizzy. I'm gonna even turn the camera off. Just, just, just do your thizzy. Whatever you want to present. All right. Just a moment. All right. God is love. Okay, here we go. I'm looking at uh I'm looking at uh first John four and I'm just gonna read eight four and eight. It said anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. It's just that simple. That's the truth for me. And then the way I prove that he's that he exists, the way I prove that he exists, the way I prove that he exists, it says, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God, and has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God in is love. So you see somebody genuine loving over there? That's God.
Um, that's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. All right. Um, even even by biblical standards, you did not you did not prove that God exists. Hey, well, you did, you did not prove. Just a moment. Oh. All right, thank you. All right. God just showed up at the door. Showing no, some didn't. love. He no, just he showed some love at the door. No, this no, he did. didn't. No, this he didn't. Did. Through the expression of love. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Come on, let's let's stop it. Let's stop it. All right, all right. Okay, we, do we, know, we do we do know also that God is a spirit, right? No such thing as spirit, sir. No such thing. Okay. okay. No such well, thing. See, you don't believe in God. It's not. It's not a. You don't believe in God. Knowledge supersedes belief. Hey, Amen. Knowledge. You need to what show, knowledge are you talking about? You need what to show clear. You? you need to show clear, convincing, and overwhelming evidence that God exists. Hmm. Belief. Belief. If you have to believe in God, God does not exist because if God was real. God will be just as real as that uh, smoke that you're smoking. Mm. And see, you're, that smoke that you're smoking, I could smoke it. If I was with you, I would smell the smoke. And whether I believe in it or not, it don't make any difference because I'm, I'm still going to be affected by the smoke. I'm still going to be affected by what you're doing. It's real. But hey. when it's not real... Why? Because you can't see it. Why? Because you can't see it. Is the believer? Hey, so do you believe that there's? Now, now let me say this, okay? You, I, I, let you, you I let you say. You I, I let you say. I let you say what you want to say. You said it's over, so now I'm going to respond to what you just said. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Going back to what you was talking about, starting with the Bible, and you're going to prove with the Bible from the Word of God that God exists and I asked you is that Bible the word of God how can you know how do you know that that's the word of God because when you examine the book itself it's a bunch of hearsay it's books written by men that say such and such it's hearsay from one man to another that's what it's about and when you look at the books, the books are written by men. There's no chapters that say, I, God, wrote this. It's men speaking about men. You say that God is love. Well, a lot of things on, on that premise can be love. But see, when we talk about God, we're talking about, is God a being? We're not talking about any emotion. Anybody can, anybody can, experience love that's real babies can experience love dogs and cats it's an emotion but it's not a being we want to know and we wanted you to come here to prove that god is a being that expresses this emotion of love god cannot be love because love is emotion god can express love but god is a being the supreme being. Love is not a being. Hold up. Then the last point here is when you talk about God, God is a title. Like policeman, like president, like astronaut. When we talk about the president, oh, uh, the president of the United States did what? Blah, blah, blah. I'm missing. What president are you talking about? Because president is a title. Are you talking about President Biden? Are you talking about Obama? Are you talking about Ronald Reagan? Are you talking about George Washington? What president are you speaking of? What president are you talking about? It's a title. All right, so, excuse me. 
Let me write these things down. Let me write your questions down when that you want to answer. First question that you want to answer was what? So that, so that I can answer your questions. God, line you have to show that God is the author of the Bible. Show that God is the author of the Bible. Okay, that's question number one. What's your next question? Number two, how was God how is God love, but he's a how is God an emotion? Because you're not saying that God is a, a being, you're saying that God is an emotion. So how is God how is God an emotion? Because love is an emotion, it's not a, not a being. You need a being in order to express love. So how 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 are you how are you how what's in that right now? Give me the good question so I could I mean we well, can I don't know exactly how to put the question. You're a smart man. I don't You're know exactly how to Okay, we're going to say it like this. Wisdom. How is God love, which is an emotion, where is the, what is, how does he exist, how, it's, it's, it's dumb because it can't happen. You need a well, being. You said it like three times. You need a you being. said it three times. Come on. You need a being. You need a being to express the emotion. So you need it. Let's write. Let's write that down. You need a being to express, to express an emotion, love. To express yeah. love. You. Express love. You. Need. A. Being. To. Express. Love. Yeah. All right, continue. And the last one is God is a title. Exactly really? who are you talking about? All right, okay, okay. So what are you saying? What is his name? What is God's name? Who is this person? Or, or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> it's up that's on you. Hey, let's uh go back into this. You need a being to express love. Let's pull more out of that. It's gonna be some more that we need to pull out of that. That's gonna bring this to light, uh, and evidence. So let's get back into that. That's that's that was the second. We know that you you would need a being. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. But in that, we would need to know what God is. Also. Yeah. Okay, so once again, what is God? Oh, oh, okay, what is God? Okay, so with that, we're going to say, what is God? Because you said you need a being to express love. What yeah. is God? So, the main topic was to show, oh no, the main topic of this was to show that God exists, right? Yeah. All right, the main topic is to show that God exists. Today. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let me think. Show that God exists. Okay, I just want to draw down all these things, all these good things, you know. Show that God is the author of the Bible. Then you said to express. I mean, what is uh, what is God? Because we say what is God? Because you say you need a being to express love. Because I said God is love. All right. So your question is now. Now the thing is, okay, okay, okay. Show that God exists. The moment, main type. Show show that God exists. Okay, that's the main type right there. Okay, so behind that, your question was, okay, and I said, all right, God is love. I said he exists through love. And you said you need, God exists through love. You said you need a being to express love. 
Hey. Very good. Very good. The love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. Just waiting on this to jump up right quick. Okay. Is there any type of denomination or? I don't deal with denomination. Causes separation. It's one God. But you're you're talking you're talking you're talking Christian points. Hey man, I'm a disciple. GD. <laughs> so that so you're a Christian. Hey, uh, hey, let me say this. Uh, according to the scriptures, the disciples of Christ were first called the Christians. Okay. I, I do have an answer for that, but I'm not into religion, so I can't. I'm not. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not gonna either. debate. I'm not I'm gonna debate. Either. I know where all that stuff come from. I mean, I was a Christian also at one time. I also was a Muslim. So I I know the Bible and the Quran. Uh, uh, okay. I was raised in the Baptist church in rural Mississippi in the 1960s. The South is the, South is, the is is part of the, what they call the, the, the uh, Christian belt. The yeah, Christian yeah, belt. yeah. I live on that right now. I live at the gateway. Yeah. I live at the gateway of it. Yeah. I'm so, here in the gateway right now. I, not, I'm in Murfreesboro, from, Illinois. What, 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 Illinois? I'm Murfreesboro, Illinois. I'm directly in the gateway right now. What's the biggest city close to uh, Murfreesville? Chicago. I'm oh, from Chicago. Okay. I'm from okay. Chicago. Okay. Born and raised in Chicago. Okay. Okay, let's get back to this. It says, so that God is the author, of what I had got to this. Okay. Well, uh, the being that God would exist in would be in me and any other human being that uh, would allow God, uh, would, that knows God and would allow him to dwell there. So I am the being and others that love. And and the scripture that goes along with that is, uh, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it. Or you can read it. I'll tell you where it said It's Romans 5, 5. It is, uh, and hope, because you, you, you talked about me believing, well, it says, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love, God is love, has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. It's the Holy Spirit that while you're speaking is going to keep giving me these scriptures. That's why I have to ask this thing, because all I'm going to hear is them scriptures. He's going to give them to me, and then I'm going to go straight to this thing, and it's going to tell me about me and you. I said it's going to be a lot revealed in this. Uh, like I had said before, well, not I that I said it, but the word of God said it, which is God. Let's get back to it. Let me see. As I said before, like it's going to reveal a lot of things about you. Mm, 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 man, he's heating up. Well, you're not going to reveal nothing about me unless you do a police record check. <laughs> man, I don't need none of that. I'm, I'm, hey, man, hey, hey, look, God, if you do a police record check, you're still not gonna find out. Hey, what, dig this. Dig this. God knows exactly who you are. God knows exactly who you are, and he will reveal to whom he will. And he did and he reveals the deep, dark, secret things, the things that you think that don't nobody else know about you. I don't he have any secrets like that, but I don't yeah, have secrets like yeah, that. Yeah, so. yeah. Hey man. <laughs> 
Everybody got I don't secrets. Have no, no, I don't have any deep, dark secrets. The move. Everybody got deep, dark secrets. Well, I don't. Everybody. No, I don't. Hey, man. Hey. I don't hey. have no. I've the heard worst thing, that, I've the heard worst thing that has ever happened to me in my life is uh, I was unjustly incarcerated in the crazy house. That's the deepest. That's And I could have kept that to myself because that's not, that's not private knowledge. You can't look it up on the internet or whatever. I'm the one that put that out there. So that's the worst thing that you could ever find on me. I have no deep dark secrets or nothing. I don't I have no reason to keep I'm not ashamed of nothing I've ever done in my life. Matter of fact, I've always tried to live a righteous type of lifestyle. So I, there's nothing. I've always tried to obey what the scriptures told me when I was a Christian. I tried to obey what the scriptures told me when I was in Islam. And even when I left those things, for me, for me. A righteous type of lifestyle is the best thing for me. Not because I want to go to heaven. Not because I think God's going to kick me in my ass. No, I want to be a righteous person because simply because it, I, I feel better. I live a better life. Uh, I'm not, you know, I don't, I've never cared nothing about partying. I don't care about drugs. I never cared about whor whoring around. I never, I don't, I, I don't mess with me, other men's wives and or, or girlfriends, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't do those things. I've never, I've never done those things. Let me say, ask you something. So, tell me this: Are you saying, are you saying you're clean? I'm not saying that I'm clean. I've done some dirt. All right, then. But it's not no dark secret. I, 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 I tell the, the stuff. That's it's not cool. no big. Matter of fact, if you was li ever listen to my videos, I tell people what you know those different things. On my live streams all the time. I'm not ashamed of nothing. Matter of fact, I tell those things so maybe I can help other people in their lives. I tell those things so they don't fall. They don't fall into the same pothole that I did. That's good. Because That's see, good. sometimes when you make mistakes, you're lucky, and you get another chance. Many people make mistakes; they don't get a second chance, and you're very lucky. If you get a third or fourth chance, <laughs> you know. So, as they say in religion, I consider myself blessed because I have done certain things in my life which could have cost me my life a long time ago. But as they say in religion, perhaps maybe God saved me for something. But you don't believe that there's a God. No, I don't believe in there's a God. But, but also, you just said, time, you said, but you just said, perhaps. But also, at the same time. I can three times. Exactly. I can simply say that as a as an elder person, maybe I can say something to a younger person that will help them on their journey so they don't fall into the same uh, pitfalls that I did. But I'm just saying from the religious standpoint, they would say you was blessed to do something maybe God wanted you to do in the future or something to that effect from a religious standpoint, even though I don't believe that, but, but also at the same time, even coming from a religious standpoint, I don't have to believe in God because from a religious standpoint, I was told that God choose who he pleases. God uses the devil for his glory. So who's to say that God did not do that or point me in this direction and put me here for his glorification. It does not make any difference what I believe or what I do, you're still going to do my work, sir, whether you like it or not. See what I'm saying? True that. True yeah. that. True that. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, we can, we can agree on that one, huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, uh, you know we've had interactions before, and yeah. when I, like I say, you know, and, and when we've met before, and yeah. over time, you know, I've, uh, you know, seen your posts, and I, you know, I've agreed with some things you said, you know, and things you've even said today and uh you know i'm just here to prove that god does exist because that was all mm -hmm. yeah. mm. well whatever okay, yeah so. i'm here to prove that god exists uh you right. said that you need a being to express love uh yeah. and i just i just grabbed that scripture said the love of god is shed abroad in our hearts and that's how i'm able to you i mean you say you help people I, in all that you were saying. It was you yeah. like to help people. That's yeah. God in you. That's God. And then I'm going to tell you something about God. 
this is love. Now, now there's uh like wisdom. Oh, I gotta bring up wisdom. There's two types of wisdom. There's wisdom from above and wisdom from beneath. There's uh genuine love, and then there's the word the love of this world, which is not of God. Mm -hmm. But there's there's so so there's a difference, there's a fine line. It's good and evil, basically. It's good and evil. And for us to not, I'm, I'm, this is just coming up, for us not to give God his glory, that he is before all things, and because of him all things exist, just to say that he doesn't even exist, and he is the creator of all these things. He is before all these things and all that. That's 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 all these good things you have uh that you want to do and whatnot and whatnot like that for you to uh deny God that's bad though. It says because okay, 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 okay. That 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 almost tells me that you don't have love. I've already seen that you don't know God, and that is love, so you can't quite love properly without knowing what love is, because God will come in, like I say, shed abroad in our heart. He will come in and dwell with you. And when God loves you, you know, you know, God is my husband and I'm the wife. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been married. I've never been married. But man, this guy loves me like a wife. I'm like, wow. And when you can experience you said, this, you said this guy love you. <laughs> I say God. I say this guy. I say this guy. I call him a man and everything. You know, I kick him with him. I have a personal relationship with him. I, I see if we have a personal relationship with him. We kick it. We kick it. And he well, knows. You keep, saying, you keep saying him. Yeah. You know, that, that don't sound that sound like 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 a gay relationship. Hey man. Hey, hey. hey, hey, hey You're man. not saying she. You keep you say hey, hey, see? <laughs> see? hey, he is all things, man. Uh you know, him and her are one. When they when they when they came together, they became one. So it's all one. When they became together and then the family, let me show you about God. God is really for his family. He loves them. He loves them. He loves us. Great is his love. You know, had he not loved us, he would not have sent us his word. And his name is, all right, you had even asked, what's his name? Yeah, what's his name? His name is the word. He is the word of God. I can <laughs> go to the scripture. I can go to the scripture. It's going to tell you exactly what his name is. Uh because you said, what's his name? You talk yeah. about titles, all these titles and things. What's his name? Yeah. And his name is the word of God, KJV. Uh uh, Revelations nineteen thirteen, but you could. I'm, I'm right. If you're writing that down, the uh, the scripture is Revelations thirteen, nineteen, and I think this is just the usurp, uh, usurp from it. Would you like for me to get the whole thing? But it says, and he was, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. The Word of God. And and this word of God is the holy scriptures. But you and, and you said who authored the Bible? Yeah. Holy man of God spake, KJV. Now I said the Bible says uh, it says in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. The word is God. Okay, so we're talking about the authorship of it. It said, and and we know that the word of God is the uh, spirit of pro prophecy. It speaks to what what was, what is, and what is to come. 
and it's solid. It tells you everything that's been going on from the beginning to the end. He is the beginning and the end. He's the Alpha and the Omega. Okay, so, and I said that the spirit of prophecy is the testimony of Jesus Christ. It's the word of God. Uh, it says, for the prophecy came not in all times by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. It also talks about them uh, writing by him. He inscribed the Bible. And then in the book of Jubilees, the angel of the presence, which is God, Jehovah, wrote himself for Moses the commands and the laws. I could go there. I could go there. But it's according to what you say that you don't have to believe or, you know, you could, it's, 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 a, it's a choice and it's a heart issue. It's a choice and it's a heart issue. It all deals with your heart. Okay, do you, do, <laughs> see, I, I don't debate religious teaching. I, I don't, I don't do that. I, I make a little commentary. But I really don't. I really don't debate those uh, those uh, those teachings. But what I what I will say is, you just told us that God is love, and the name of God is the Word of God, correct? But then you did a flip and a switch, and you just said that the name of God is Jehovah. So which one is it? <laughs> So which one is it? Is it hey, God's name is Jehovah hey, or is this, it the, this, the word, this, word of God? Does that make any sense? Look, look, look. <laughs> look, listen, listen. God has many names, but that one name above all names is the word of God. But I could tell you some other names because God is what his name is. When I tell you these names, but I'm not going to tell you. I can show you according to scripture. And these would, these names would be what you call uh, titles. Because Jehovah is actually a title. Mm -hmm. But it's a name. What about Yahweh? That is, that's, that's father. That's father. Father. Our father. I mean, you know, if I say Yahweh, I'm uh, Yahweh, I'm saying father. Okay. So let me go okay. back here. Let me go back here. All right. <clears throat> I'm listening. You do, you do know that what you're talking, what you're saying really don't make sense. You, well, you don't know that, right? Because you're not going to go nowhere in the United States or nowhere on this planet unless that is actually your name, which that's uh, it, it would not be recognized. Uh, people don't accept something like that as a name. You're not going to name. There's no name called the word of God. Because you can say the same thing about the Quran. There are over. There are over 600 gods that people worship, human beings worship, over 600 of them. Uh, so, when you said the word, so when you said, yeah, 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 I'm but, not talking about people. It's 600 gods that people worship. How do you know that? Why is it your God better or different is the one that people are supposed to rally around? It's, it's over 600. My God. And all of them have a word of God. This is the word of God. So how can... How can that be the, the name of the being, the word of God, when all these different religious systems also say the same thing? This is the word of and God. This, and this here, with all this uh, question, is helping me to explain to you that God exists and things like that, right? No, because you, no. <laughs> you haven't proven that God exists. Mm. Mm. Also, you're supposed to bring, I shouldn't even have to talk to you. If God exists, you can bring God on a live stream and I can talk to God personally. I don't need to be talking to somebody named Bless. 
Brother Clyde. I don't need to talk to you, Brother Clyde. Bring God, the Word of God. Hey, Word of God, come on to the live stream. Let me put the link up there for him. Hey, hey, Word of God, bring the link. Let me put the link up there. Join the conversation, Word of God. There you go. Hey, Word of God, join the conversation. Hit the link just like Clyde did. Because Clyde ain't doing a real good job at explaining everything. So we need you personally to come here and get, and I sit back in the cut, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'll be the first one on the planet to get a live interview with the word of God, God himself or herself. It's a him. I don't know that sounds so like I think I'd rather say she. My God would be a she. I'll be saying she. You married? No, I'm not married. All right. But well, I don't like, I don't like men. I don't like men like that. I took all What's the men pictures. About? I took all the men pictures down in my house because as a male, what do it look like for me to be looking at men all the time? I'm not I don't, I'm not into that type of stuff. I don't but worship you, men like that. If my if I'm gonna believe in God, my God is gonna be a female. <laughs> it's not I'm gonna be saying she wrote the Bible. She and if you notice these books, it's all about men. It's all about the men, all the prophets, all the revelations, the majority of the stuff always go to men. Now there are some female prophets. I think there's Ruth and there's somebody else in there. They don't talk about them. And it's not like they really done nothing special. It's all about Jesus, all about Moses, all about Noah, all about Lot, all about Abraham. Where the women at? And then when they do talk about some of the women, they in a bad situation. They ain't really doing nothing too much. So I can't, I can't give I can't get with a religion that don't like women. I can't do it. And man, I love women. I love women. Uh, actually, in one of the places where it talked about a woman, the the men were there to condemn her. Mm -hmm. She of was course. a prostitute because she was a prostitute. Now listen, the men were there to condemn her because she why? was a prostitute. But yeah, let why, me ask, why is the woman a prostitute though? Hey, hold up, hold up. That's right. That's right. And how why, can they why, say why, she, why, why, why is she a prostitute? Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up. How can they say she a prostitute? How they know she a prostitute? But even if she is a, a prostitute, why is she in that condition to be a prostitute? Because the who, men put her in that position. Who are who who are her customers? Hey, that's right. The men. So the how men. can they say? How can they say that? Unless they the customers. They the customers. So who they trying to condemn? <laughs> who they trying to condemn, huh? Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, the men, these men are something else. You know, and I'm a man. I'm a man. But God has taught me. You know, I have a lot of women in my family, and uh -huh. I love them. Yeah. I love them. And by having a bunch of daughters, mm -hmm. man. I changed my, my thoughts about that woman, period, man. Hey, we need a woman. We need a woman. Actually, the woman becomes the man's God mm. when he marries her. Yeah, well, if he genuinely loves her, uh huh. if he genuinely loves her, and if she genuinely loves him, there's God. Hey, you see this? I want you to see this comment by, hey, Anthony, what's happening, Anthony? I like your conversation, Anthony. <laughs> Anthony says, most prostitutes provide a good therapeutic service. <laughs> he's a man. He's a man. Yeah, he's a, he's a man. But see, but see, prostitution is exploitation by men. Yeah, man. I know. I it's know, not the therapeutic. Know. It might be therapeutic for the male. It's not therapeutic for the woman at all. Hey man, but but I'm gonna tell you something, man. It's been things that I've done in life that aren't therapeutic, but they've taught me, you know, and that's that is therapeutic, and it's good mm -hmm. for others that I learned that I could help in those areas and things like that, you know, by this life that I've lived, my past life, the things that we don't want to speak of, you know, God knows, yeah, you know, I have things that only He knows. And, and he'll reveal those things. As I was saying, you know, it's deep, dark things. You know, it don't matter to me. I do a lot of confession, too, to people on the streets and whatnot. And you know what they say? Uh -huh. Me, too. They don't hide it. Yeah. They don't hide it. They see the love. Love is the key. And, not, and people not genuinely loving God. This love of God is, uh, is uh, what is that? Agape love. 
People yeah, but we shouldn't, we shouldn't be um, ashamed of of our past or what we've done in the past or anything like that when we are when we're striving to be better because like i said those things that happened to us in our past that's our past we should be godly we, older, older, we should um, be god we should be godly sorrowful for some of the things that we've committed in our past with what we know now we i mean you know me i'm gonna let's talk about me i'm yeah. godly sorrowful for the crimes and the acts that I've committed in my past, you know, and that has brought me uh, in a, even a closer relationship with God mm -hmm. because I'm godly sorrowful about him, you know, and I don't, I'm not pleased and I'm not happy that I did those things, but I didn't know God at that moment, mm -hmm. you know, he was all around me all the time, kept loving on me, kept loving on me, kept loving on me. Man, check this out. Every time somebody tried to show me some love, I went upside their head. You can't touch me. Don't get close to me. What you touching me for? No, don't hold my hand. You know? So when that stepped away, I was like, whoa, something is missing. Mm -hmm. Something is missing. And I realized it. But, you know, through other uh, life experiences and things like that, you know, uh, yeah. I've learned a lot. You know, and uh, and 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 drawing closer to God through the reading of His Word. Mm -hmm. Like now, we uh, just I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna end, and I'm gonna let you go in and say whatever you want to say. Um, like when I first asked to know God, I didn't know who God was. I know my life was in trouble though, and if it, I mean you know your life is a bottomless pit. Because of, you know, things you've probably done and what your mind is telling you and you're going through things in your mind. Basically, it's a mind thing also. You know, heaven and hell, it's, it's about the, a state of mind, even on this plane. What And what I'm saying is what we do on this plane or what we're going to prepare for the afterlife and life doesn't end. Life doesn't end. We just move from one stage to the next. Um. So all this here is preparation for what we're going to do in the next life. Like people who complain a lot. Hey, in the next life, you're going to do a lot of complaining. Right? I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess how you're going to be complaining? Because you're going to be in hell and hot water. Hell fire. You know, you're going to be, yeah, it's going to be like that. And it's going to be no quenching of the pain. And you're going to be fire and uh, worms going to be all over you. Um, Anyway, let's get back to God. I mean, well, uh, I mean, you would have to, uh, like, like there have been steps given to me through the study of the word. Ain't nobody teach me this. I know what I'm saying. I was, I asked God, I said, God, I knew I was in trouble. I knew I was in trouble. I knew death was at the door. I've been laid. I've been, uh, I've been, uh, you spoke about some things about me earlier. Um, I was left for dead three times, and uh, this year, the first, I uh, I died the last day of December, and I came back uh, January the first. I was I came back, you know, they had pronounced me dead, you know, it's noted, and I came back on the first. So I had been given another opportunity. The first time I was left for dead, they hit me in the head with a. Uh, 15 pound crowbar. I was game banging in the streets and things. I had did something, ran off up in these people house, you know, warring. I was a warrior. And, uh, you know, so something got me back up, carried me, you know, I was, I was conscious. I had become conscious, you know, it's just the experiences I've had in life. I can't deny God. So anyway, with all this, I knew I was marked for death and things like that. I asked God, I said, God, teach me about you. And the first thing he showed me was Genesis 6, 5. And it say, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great throughout the earth. And every thought of the imaginations of his heart was only evil continually. And that was like, a, it was like a splash in the face or somebody smacked you in your face because that was me. All I thought was how I was going to mess you up real bad. I lived for it. You know, that was my life, hurting people and, you know, out there doing real bad things. So that scared me to death, scared me to death because of what well, used to be a time you couldn't touch me. 
It used to be a time you couldn't touch me. There's no way in the world you could touch me. And that's just my mind, you know? Um, so with those things, with me being quickly, you know, like they smashed me that one time, I was lifted back up. They smashed me again real fast. I was lifted back up. They smashed me again real fast. I was like, whoa, what's going on? You can't touch me. Hold up. Because it had never happened before, you know, and I was out there. I was warring. And then the old way, uh, you know, so that I was like, man, what's going on? And then I turned to God. I didn't even know who he was. And he said, and I and, and he said, and God saw that the wickedness of man was great throughout the earth. And every thought of the imaginations of his heart was only evil continually. And I knew what came behind that. And I had read, I had read no more of the Bible. That's all of the Bible I had read. And so what came behind that was he destroyed the earth. I'm made from the earth. I'm made from the earth. So destruction was at my door. They used to call me a name. I had took that character. I was called his name for birth. To my family, it meant brother. To my family, it meant brother. Um, they called me bluffer. They called me bluffer. My sister name is a young boy. She couldn't say baby brother. She said baby bluffer. But in a name is all that characterizations of that person. Names are very important. So I didn't even know at the time. But I was out there and everything. I was bluffing. But I, I, I mean, but I would, I would do something too. You know, and so I could bluff. I could bluff you. And because you knew what you knew, the type of person I was and people knew and I had a name and things like that, you know, I took on that character. And then I seen that name in the Bible, in a Bible. And it began to tell about me. And it said that that where, where, where it spoke of that name is, is where the Bible scripture says. A haughty spirit come before this. Pride come before. Pride comes before a fall. <clears throat> a fall and a haughty spirit before destruction. Well, a haughty spirit is a bluffer. Mm -hmm. I seen that in the Bible. I think it's either the Passion Bible or the. Uh, <clears throat> it's either the Passion Bible or the Amplified Bible. And I said, whoa, that's why, I, that's why I have my name. I mean, you know, right now, it's just me between me and you and others who I asked to call me blessed. You know, yeah. I have my name changed to blessed. Mm -hmm. So the name, uh, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. You know, and we understand why. Because I could tell a lot about a person, me, myself, knowing the word of God, believe it or not, because it's a discerner. Yes. About a person all by their name you can even look their name up like if you look your name up if i google if you google your name tell me what they say your name means say what does the name such and such mean and it's going to tell you a lot about you and i don't know if it'll be eye-opening to you and you'll recognize that really yeah really that's well, I, me I, bro. I, I created my name so i know <laughs> I know what it means. So, so what? Google. I created it from out of the Arabic language. So, 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 so out of the what? Out of the Arabic language. It's not out Islamic. It's just, it's just out of the Arabic language. It has nothing to do with uh, the religion. Well, I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about definitions. Well, the definition. My name is Talik. The definition is seeker of knowledge. See, see. And see. Even Ra means son of power. Ebeam means son, and Ra means thunder, son of power. There is power given to this son, and I seek the knowledge. Knowledge gives you power. If knowledge uh, don't give you power, then apparently you don't have the knowledge that you claim that you have. Because if you if you have the knowledge of fixing cars. You should be able to fix car. If you have the knowledge you claim to fix car, but can't fix a car, something's wrong. So in our community, as you know, there's a lot of people, I got the supreme wisdom, I got the supreme power, whatever. Well, where is that manifest? <laughs> you know, hey, even so you, know what you're talking about, you don't know how to apply. Yes. Something is wrong. yes, yes, they don't know how to apply. Yeah. You know, uh, things are, there are, 
there's one great step in everything that we do. And we must hold and maintain fast to that. We must keep that first. Uh, and then, you know, a lot of, well, a lot of people do things for reasons. Mm -hmm. And the reasons even matter. Well, first of all, you need to love what you do. And the reason why you do it has to be uh, for the love of others. I mean, you know, I'm, I mean, I may have just said that wrong, but it has a lot to do with love also, which is God for mm -hmm. real. Oh, 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 whatever we do, we do in the name of God. Whatever we do, we do towards God, who is love. That's all scripture. It's all scripture. And in doing these things, you know, your heart will remain true and pure. And, you know, you won't sway. You won't sway. Well, yeah. I'll tell you, for me, and this is what I say. I don't never come before nobody. I don't try to convert no anyone from their belief system. That's not my thing. Because even if I did do that, it really wouldn't be uh, sincere. I just I just did a good selling pitch, a good selling job. So that's not what I'm about. I don't care anything about those things. I come I come from Christianity. I come from uh, Islam. I, that's that's my thing. Matter of fact, even though I say I don't believe in God, but if you listen to me talk, you still see that's still part of me. It's I not going to go. In, it's not going to go anywhere. It's okay. Hold on a sec. Okay. It's okay. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, it's beautiful, man. I'm glad we could talk because I remember when I first seen you, I didn't want to have nothing to do with you. <laughs> and all I seen was your picture. So I could be sitting there over this course of time because when we first met, we was jabbing at each other. I don't yeah. know if you remember, but yeah. I do. You know, because yeah. I don't deal with many people. You know, right. I watch the posts and try to correct where I can. <laughs> but, but this is the thing. Yeah, Love is the key. And a lot of people, there are texts and posts and things they're not doing it in love. You could tell by the way they're posting it. Mm -hmm. I, I could see a person's emotion through their words. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I could see their emotions through their words. Now, the word is God. God is the word, remember? I, could, I mean, a person could be sitting them millions of miles away, and I know what their heart is through what they say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's that's not what it, it, it should be about. It's not. It's not. It's supposed to be about love. I thought it God. was. I mean, whether you believe in God or not, in this community, you always have these people talking about, let's love the black people and, 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 and unite and whatever. Y'all the most hateful, vile, profane folks. You know, sometimes I'm going to tell you, Woo! I always have to get on these people's case about my Christian brother and sister. Because I've been on YouTube, and you do have some wacky Christians on here, you know, some. But the majority of Christian people don't have this, that type of, I, you know, this, this vile, I, I hate you, you, you uh, uh, kiss mine, you know, what the? Yeah, they yeah, they're nasty. human. They're human. They're human. You they know, have and, and, attitude. Hey, hey, they're human. And because they're human, they have to deal with those emotions, but they have to learn to deal with those emotions. And I'm going to tell you something. Love can do that. A lot of people are missing love and they're looking for love, but they don't know love. If we knew love, we would operate in love. But they operate like in a superficial love. Listen to this. They operate like, in a superficial love. It's like this, Brother Clyde. They claim them. They claim they love their mother. They claim they love their father. They claim they love their children, right? Yeah. Now, that means the same way you would treat your wife and your children and your mother, you supposed to treat me. It's love. Genuinely. You're yep. not gonna cuss them out because 
your son might want an apple and you want some oranges today. You're not gonna say, you get some blah blah Well, some parents will. I mean, you know, <laughs> but they don't you love know, them. You know. But they don't love them. You have many abusive parents, and you have fathers that hate their sons, and which of course the scriptures talk about uh the, the, the time of the day when daughters would turn against their mothers and fathers against their sons and blah blah. The scriptures talk about those things, you know. But if when you talk about love. Love gives you a certain amount of toleration, even though you're an idiot. <laughs> you know you ain't even though you disrespected me. I'm, yep. gonna, I'm not gonna let you go all, I'm not gonna let you just go crazy with it. Yeah, because but I love, you. love somebody, you have a certain amount of toleration because out of love. Yeah, love is long suffering. Uh -huh. The Bible tells us that love is long. It tells us what love is. Love is long suffering. Love is kind. Love is this. Love is that. Some great things that people are not expressing, but they are expressing, you know, hate because uh -huh. of superficial love and lust. Yeah, See, and people, lust. they get they get love and lust mixed up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then because their intentions were wrong when they even went into a relationship. Because the intentions were wrong and the heart wasn't right, they don't get to experience love. They went in probably because of lust. Yes. And then they get in with the superficial love, which is not love of it's not the love of God, but it is the love of this world, which is foolishness. Mm. But they don't know that. They don't know that because they don't know God. Only God can show you this. Hey, check this out. And the reason why I do this is because I was like, I, my desire, I think great things, I think. And because God loved me, of all people, one of the worst men to walk the sides of this earth, he could save the world easily. He saved me easy. So because he loved me, like this, as as I was alienated from God and the truth, man, I can't help but to tell somebody else about this great love. About this great love. And it caught, man, you ought to see, like around this place. I just moved here not long ago from Chicago. Uh -huh. Man, you ought to see when I walk out there in them streets and the love that God shows me. Now, them people know my name. They call me both. I have not been here long. But man, they, hey, it's love. It's love. Why? Because the love of God is shed abroad in my heart. Now, the love of God being shed abroad in my heart, he's open. It's like a fire hydrant. My heart is like a fire hydrant. And he's opened the valve and took that cap off. And it's gushing out. And, it, and wherever I go, either you're going to love me or you're going to hate me. Mm. And, if, and if you love me, you love God, you know God, because you will recognize it. And some people, they don't understand it, and they reject it because they they are not they used to a superficial love and being hurt and trodden down so hard by people saying, I love you, and then they, 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 they screw you real mm. bad, you know, mm. family members and all that. Yeah. But they didn't know love themselves, you know. This takes uh, growth. This takes growth, man. I'm just 51 years old, and I ain't beginning to start understanding these things and begin to ask questions until I turn 30. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah. And I, like I say, he showed me. He showed me. There's no doubt in my mind about him saving me about them times, man. Yeah. Uh, many times I was out. Many times. Now, I just told you about those because those were the most significant to me. You know, all the strike a memory in my head that can't be for, forgotten ever. And uh, I had never remembered dates. But with this last one, last day of January, as far as 2021 and January the 1st this year, first date I remember. First day I remember. Uh, what got me down here was I was staying in Chicago and, you know, God has blessed me, you know, and he blessed me greatly. So... I'm able, I shine, but everybody know how, and they don't know how I'm able to obtain and uh, get the things that I get. It'd be the blessings of God, but, and I want to make things look good, 
but maybe I was a little arrogant, like the little gingerbread man. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Not saying I'm doing nothing wrong, right. but uh, you know, I was just flaunting and being real, like you know, I was, you know, I was kind of showing off, mm. and I'm showing off. Let's say I'm just a piece of meat in a den full of lions. And them guys got at me again. Mm. They still wound up shooting my house up. Mm. Shot my house to smithereens. And I knew they were finna do it. I just, because I knew they were finna do it, I walked to, to strap up to get ready. But when I got to my door, put my hand on the knob, it started. And I didn't even go in the house. Mm. And I'm glad I didn't because the bullets ripped straight through the house. From the front to the back, across the alley, landing in the lady's house, across the alley on her uh, kitchen table. They shredded the house. Mm. And me, like I say, I was a warrior. So I went to the left to, 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 to go up through the gangway because I got people out front on the porch. I was going through my back door. Got people out front. Couldn't get through the gangway. I could not get to the gangway. So I ran to the other side, to the fence. And I just looked up over the fence and I could see my cousin, a lady, walking back and forth in the gangway. I mean, not in the gangway, but in the vacant lot next to my house. Mm -hmm. she, she was taking like five steps, turn around and walk back. Five steps, turn around and walk back while they're shredding the house. Mm. So when all that was done and, uh, you know, it became light outside. I was able, I was outside. I never went in the house behind that because after they do all that, they ran, you know, and we won. Anyway, uh, I went to the fence and I just looked and where she had been walking, how the bullets had passed all through the fence and she was not hit. Mm. Only, only one of ours was hit and she was hit in the toe. Mm -hmm. she was hit in the toe, you know, and like I say, it was many of them. It was just three of us. And we won. And I didn't pick up nothing, but we won. And we've never lost. <coughs> we've never lost with very small numbers. This God protected and taking care of me all my life because I've been through some things. Mm -hmm. so, you know, God does exist for me. He does yeah. exist for me, you know. And then this is why I believe. And then I see him in the word, you know. These words are more than just words. They're living. They're living. And he proved himself. He even shows us, like I say, it's the prophecy, the spirit of prophecy, testimonies of Jesus Christ, speaks to what was, what is, and what is to come. There's nothing in this life that you won't see in that Bible, or you can't relate to your life in that Bible. Like if you have a question or something, ask me. Well, I, I, I understand um, those things because that's where I come from. And I have had my own um, uh, close encounters with, uh, you know, death. Uh, I've also, um, I've seen dead people rise from the coffin in broad daylight. I've seen those things. I've seen a man that was dead in the coffin. I saw him rise up out of the coffin. Broad daylight. This was not dark. I saw this broad daylight i saw a dead man we just buried him the day before he was at the door knocking on the glass now this was at night but i still i saw i saw things like that this is before they were embalmed or something they were dead they were getting, they was buried oh they were buried and these things happened yeah well the guy that i saw rise out the casket he was getting ready to be buried. You know, one of those old uh, church cemeteries? Because, you know, some yeah. of the church cemeteries in the South, they yeah. got their own graveyard. Yeah. yeah. And it started raining real hard, and they, they stopped the funeral because it was raining really, really hard. And they left the body out there above the ground. And our house was right next to him. And I'm looking out the window, and I saw him rise up out the casket. And he just, you know, he looked around. I'm like, whoa. This was broad daylight. This was not at night. This was broad daylight. Did he lay back down? Yeah, he laid back down. All right, all right. Well, that was the gases in his body. We was just talking about that last night. 
We uh-huh. were just talking about that last night. I have a doctor here in the house with me. Uh-huh. A doctor. Uh, he was he was shot seven times. Now I have a real doctor in this house with me right now. Uh-huh. He's going down back there. Uh, he was shot seven times during the Vietnam War, uh-huh. and he died. Uh-huh. He died. And when they threw him on the airlift to take him out of there, they left the doors open, uh-huh. and the winds revived him. He was pronounced dead. The winds revived him. He's a colonel. He's a colonel. He's a practicing doctor right now. He's in. He's here with me right now. Okay. And uh, so we were just talking about this, and. Uh, uh- we were just talking about what, what you was just saying, you know, mm-hmm. about that, you know. Mm-hmm. That's why I asked. That's why I asked. Was he embalmed? Yeah, he was, was getting ready to be put in the ground. Yeah, because he had said last night that the gas is in our body. Yeah. Uh, there was something wrong with that man. That man had a sickness. Hey, what did you say, Dave? What did you say? That sickness it causes the gas is in your body to rise up. Okay, wasn't it? All right. Yeah, but we were just talking about that last night, man. Yeah, almost at this moment. Yeah, yeah. Even like, uh, if you throw somebody. <laughs> If you tie somebody down and throw them in the, uh, if you throw some weights on somebody and throw them in the water, you know, the gases are going to build up in their yeah. body. It's going to flow back to the top. Well, that's yeah. what happened. But that man had a disease, some type of disease um, that caused that. It caused that. He was just telling me about it last night. And you can yeah. even smell it. You mm. can smell it. It has a distinct, a distinct smell. And you mm. can smell that that's this, this disease. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Huh? What you call it? Acceptosemia. Oh, okay. Acceptosemia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm, I sort, of, I'm, I'm sort of familiar that. with with some of those terms because I watch a lot of those uh, medical examiner <laughs> shows. Well, I, got the I, love right here. I love that stuff. Some people might think that I'm, I'm morbid or whatever. I love those medical examiner shows. Oh. And, and, and I have videotapes where you actually see a for real autopsy. You know, they take the brain out and go through. You actually see this. It's not no, it's not no well, fake CSI you, stuff. It's real. Listen to what your name is. You have a thirst for knowledge. I, I do. Always have. I always mm-hmm. been curious. I always been a curious type person. But you know, also what they said. They said, "Remember, curiosity killed the cat." <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. Be, be, be prayerful. Be prayerful. But, but check this out. Check this out. Once we begin to trust in God and know God, man, please, uh, He tell us everything, and we know that it's true. You can't beat it. It's solid evidence. It's absolute. It's absolute. Now, like I said. There's two types of wisdom. There's the wisdom of man, which is, is which is worldly, which is from beneath, and there's the wisdom of God, which is from above. And you could tell if that person carries that by their character, how they speak, and all that. That's all knowing the word of God, which is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. When people begin to speak, I could tell whether they I mean, you know, because I know the word of God, he's always speaking. What are you listening to? What are you saying? Uh, are you giving your opinion or are you telling the truth? I like to just speak the word of God. Believe it or not, I could talk to somebody and I could give you nothing. I could just, because of God in me, I could just speak the word of God. And that's what I, I do with people. They don't know I'll be talking about God, but I put it in my words the way I could say it to them because I have to get on there. I have to come to come to their level, whether it be high or low, you know, uh, there's no uh, discrimination or nothing like that, you know, because I love and because I love, you know, we know what hate is. Hate is a repeating cycle that needs to be broken. And the only way you can break this cycle is you have to begin to express love, express God, let God be seen in you. God is in me. He's in you. He's the breath of life. Now, now we can't see God. 
Neither can we see the air. You was talking about something earlier. Right. All right. Check it out. Let's see, get you can't it. use uh you really can't use the air as an example. There's many things that we can't see. I mean, we can't see COVID-19. But you believe it is there. Well, there's a lot of people that went to the graveyard because of Hold on, hold on. I ain't talking about COVID-19 because you were talking about this smoke to begin with and then oh, so yeah, when you, 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 you can talk about you can see that smoke. Yeah. All right. And smoke goes like that, into the air. that smoke looks like an essence. Mm -hmm. That smoke looked like an essence. God's essence is spirit. And you can't see the air, but you believe that it's there. No, I don't believe in I don't believe that it's there. I know that it's there. I don't have to believe okay. it. Okay, 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 okay. God is the breath of life. God is that's, well, that's, the breath that's, of that's, life. That goes back to, to belief because I don't have to believe in God. And I keep rolling and do what I need to do. I stop. I decide to okay. hold my breath. I'm gonna find out real quick <laughs> that you need air to breathe, really, really fast. Yeah, yeah, really, yeah, really yeah, fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gonna find out. Yeah. But what I want to say yeah, is, yeah, this yeah. live stream, I would like for us to come back together and do some more of this, 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 this talk. And actually, the thing that I have for my channel is called the healing. And I want more, I want more inspiration and motivational type. What can we do? How what can we do to be a better person? That's the kind of stuff that I want to I want to talk about. I like to I like to bring you uh to a scripture. Yeah. All right. The scripture will be to begin with, how can a young man cleanse his way? Mm -hmm. And that's the scripture. I'm gonna look it up right now. Because that's what and, and you said healing. And the first thing we would have to do is cleanse the ways that we've done with it. We've known it's washing up our minds. That's the cleansing that we need. We need to cleanse our minds. of All this foolishness, you know, of uh, the foolishness of this world, which is the wisdom of this world, which is the wisdom of man. And uh, we need more of the wisdom of God. All right. How can a man cleanse his way? Basically, the answer that comes behind that, I know what it is. Is by taking heed into the word of God, which is God, which is through these scriptures, through studying these scriptures. I'm going to look it up the right quick so we can get the full announcement out of it. Well, why are you doing that? Let me let me say this here. I don't know if you're familiar with Louis Farrakhan. OK, Louis Farrakhan, I was I was listening to him teach one day. You say, hey, one time you said you sat up under him for 40 years and you didn't learn nothing. And I found out. No. No, I was under, I was under him, uh, riding with him for nine years. Okay, nine years. You were with him nine I've been years. Around, I've been around Nation of Islam teachers forever, ever since I was eight, nine years old. Okay. okay. When Elijah Muhammad was here, I didn't know who Farrakhan was to the eighties. I don't, I don't who did who. And when I first heard Farrakhan, I thought he was a hard sounding woman. <laughs> I didn't know who who this who is this cat. I don't know who this man is. He yeah. never impressed. He never impressed me. He never impressed you. He never, never impressed so you, you. But you sat up under him nine years. Yeah. Okay. And also, you know, you you, you said, see, I never, I was impressed by Elijah Muhammad himself. As okay. A child. Okay. I never knew nothing about Malcolm. I never knew nothing about Minister Jeremiah or, or Farrakhan or none of these, these other ministers. Yes. The only person I knew of was my relatives who introduced me to the teachings. And they was whack. <laughs> they was whack. They was whack, but I fell in love with the teachings of the Nation of Islam because the, I don't know what it is. That's just who I am. When I when I was told that that our ancestors were slaves, I just was ready to fight. But I was a scary child, Clyde. I'm a scary child, but I was ready to fight Jim Crow. I was born toward the end of Jim Crow. Some people don't understand that Jim Crow did j just didn't stop because they signed the 1964 civil rights bill or whatever it didn't stop okay jim crow was known for the south but jim crow also was was being practiced in in the north also yeah so uh, your camera flip how that happen uh i don't know did it fall oh there you go oh it didn't it didn't Damn. okay this is what i want to say real quick for our car was teaching and he said that we are a zero. Are you still there? Because your, your camera froze. It's 
camera froze. Look like he's having technical difficulties. Brother Bless, his camera froze. How to do, Denzel? What's up? Peace. I would guess it's his uh Lucky's having technical difficulties. I assume he, he'll be back. We wait for him to come back. Probably having technical difficulties again. Well, how's everyone doing out there in YouTube land? It has been hot. I really didn't feel like making no videos because my air conditioner barely, barely, barely making it. This brother insisted he want to come on my live stream and prove that God exists. And of course, and also not only do God exist, he was supposed to, <laughs> he was supposed to bring God to the live stream. He didn't, he didn't prove God exists even by religious standards. He didn't prove that God exists. And of course, as you know, we don't get the first interview with God. He has yet to bring God to, to the live stream. But we did, and we, we're still having a real nice conversation. And like the brother said, um, when we first had a talk on Facebook, we went back and forth. And as you know, I always get people upset. I don't try to get people upset, but they get all into their emotion. But for some reason, the brother hung and... Uh, now he's here with us having a conversation, a real nice conversation. And hopefully the brother come back. We will invite him to talk about some other things. And like I said, we want to keep the thing that we have chosen. And now that perhaps all that negative stuff is really done. <clears throat> <laughs> I mean, Amir, I mean, there's really not nothing to debate because we know we could keep, keep them on the ropes on the offensive all day long. It's not even a challenge. But I don't want to crucify nobody. I don't want to torment nobody because people are where they are at. I don't want to be just ripping people up. I just wish to pre uh, present a, uh, a different state of mind. And that those things is all right on a certain level. But for us, we've grown beyond that. Because whatever he can do with God, we can do it too. We don't have God. We just have ourselves. Now, he's talking about the afterlife. I'm not worried about that. If there's an afterlife, I'll deal with it. Just like I didn't know anything about life. I just deal with it when I get there. <laughs> exactly. I asked him. I put the link for God, hit the link, and God can come talk to us. I don't need these middle people. Don't tell me about Allah. Here's the link. Tell Allah to hit the link. Come on the live stream. I will be so happy. It's a privilege and an honor for us to have the first live interview with Allah, with Buddha, with Yahshua or whatever these gods is, none of them have hit the link. 
or the spirits. None of the spirits have showed up. Oh, somebody told me they can, they can astral project out their body. They haven't showed up either. They haven't shown up in my dreams. I can astral project it to your dream. I haven't seen you in my dreams. You have not showed up in my house. You're not on my live stream. I don't know what it is. Why do we feel we need a Santa Claus to believe in? Because that's really what it is. It's a form of Santa Claus. Santa Claus syndrome. Well, we know we've been conditioned to think that way. Because these things are taught. This is not self-discovery. Somebody taught us God, Allah, the spirits. Somebody taught us we did not discover spirits on our own. And the afterlife. Somebody taught us this. This is not self-discovery. I don't know what happened to our brother. He was having technical difficulties, but we will uh, invite him back. And like I said, we want to continue to have more motivational, inspirational type uh, of, a, of um, conversations so that we can have some tools that we can become better people so that we can heal ourselves so that we can grow all this beefing and going back and forth there's no benefit to that it would get you more views arguing and debating religion it'll get you more views but it does not help us, as you know. It, those things don't help us. So we, what, what we want to do, we want to, after the purge, we want to heal. And there are things that can come from this brother who believes in God that can, that can still help us to move forward. Like someone said earlier, Amir said earlier, you know, take take what is good from any source, from anybody, use it, and you can just push the other stuff away. You don't have to accept all of it. Anybody, even children can offer wisdom. You may not believe it. What can a child teach me? Children are curious. Children are new. You'll be shocked some of the things that, that children say because they don't know. And you never thought about it. I know my baby brother, when I was a Muslim, he used to question Islam and just bring up these questions. I'm like, wow, I never, I never thought about things that way. Well, now he's brainwashed with Hebrew Israelite ideology, beliefs. But back then he was a little boy and he was not uh, converted to no kind of religion or anything. And he was just curious about stuff. We make a mistake when we allow our mind to become robotic. Let our mind become a clone. I'm a clone. You shouldn't have to keep quoting the Bible. You shouldn't have to keep quoting the Quran. What about our own brain? We might as well take our brain out and put the Quran in your skull. What kind of human beings are we? We should all embrace our uniqueness our own originality. I like mellow for being mellow. Mellow don't have to agree with the things that I say. I want mellow to be mellow. I want Amir to be Amir. I want the twins to be the twins. I want Denzel to be Denzel. I want us to be who we are, our own unique individual self, because there's only one of us. 
And when we leave this earth, there will be no other. We are unique, one of a kind. This ministry represents the unity of the one of a kinds, which makes us flexible, which makes us fluid, which makes us dangerous. Because you don't know how we're going to flow. But when you're dealing with somebody with a robotic mind, a programmed mind, you can almost you can almost guess what they would do, what they would not do, how they're going to go, how they react to things. Like in America, black people, soul brothers, we do the same thing. A brother or sister gets shot by police. We get out in March. We make YouTube videos. We do the same stuff over and over. We robotic. And people looking on the outside say, oh, we already know what they're going to do. Yeah. But see, it shouldn't be that way. They should be worried. Uh-oh. They killed a soul brother. They killed, they killed, they killed a soul sister. We don't know how they're going to respond. That's how, that's how they should feel. But they don't. We know what they're going to do. We want to be better. We want to be innovative. We need to be inventive, creative. You cannot do that when you are stuck with an idea or a belief or a philosophy, and that's it. Any of you that work on a car, you know you need different tools. You can't use just one tool to fix on a car. There's all kinds of different wrenches and, 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 and screwdrivers and other things that you need to fix this car. In order to fix the problem of the so-called nigger in America, you need different tools. I have never told nobody that your tool is garbage. I'm not telling you that Pan-Africanism is garbage or Jesus Christ. I'm not telling us that our what we have is garbage. You should embrace other tools because we need different tools to fix this car. You cannot, there's no one tool fix all. And that's where we make our mistake. You think you don't need the tool that comes from reality's tip on earth. Your car would never be fixed because you need this tool. We need our tools, as many tools as we can. This is a very difficult, complex problem, and it needs all of us. One divine individual. One divine organization is not going to solve this problem. It's not about popularity. I like you. It's about solving the problem. As long as you solve my problem, I don't have to like you. When your air conditioner go out and the repairman come, you don't have to like him. You just want him to fix your air conditioner so you can get back under that cool air. It's not about popularity and like. Can you do what you claim you can do, Angel Snuff Number 7? That's the only thing you should be concerned with. You don't have to like me. Well, I don't think our brother's coming back, but I did enjoy our, our talk. I will invite that brother back. I am in no air conditioning right now at all. I'm sitting next to an open window. It's just cooler today. And it's time for me to get back under a little bit of air. <laughs> the next time you see me, I'm going to shave all this crap off my face, cut all this raggedy off my face. I'll be clean and we'll be ready to roll. Uh, shout out to Sister uh, Tanji, uh, her daughter, India. And our soul, little soul brother, Josiah, 
shout out to uh, Facebook and Instagram. Uh, shout out to um, all our Realities Temple super, super M MVPs. Subscribe to the Realities. No, subscribe to the Deacons of Reality YouTube channel. Make sure that you do that. Matter of fact, just check out the description box. Well, not this video. I didn't put I didn't put anything in the description box. But just go into any of the videos. Check out the information in the description box. If you want to donate to Angel Snow No. 7 to show your appreciation, you can do that. Cash out. Zelly. Cash out. Dollar sign. Angel Snow No. 7. And absolutely. Love is the key. And probably before the end of the week is out or whatever, one of our favorite people from the past, you might be shocked. Some of y'all might not be shocked, but they might come and join us this week and we can have a talk. And again, the thing that we have chosen is the healing. After the purge is the healing. So hopefully... Because we are trying to heal, because we are seeking motivation and positivity. Hopefully, I don't piss people off like I'm known to do, because we're trying to heal. We're, <laughs> we're trying to be more positive. So I, I always thought telling the truth and bringing reality, I thought that was positive. But unfortunately for some folks, it's, it's, it's a hurtful thing. It's not very, very positive. So on that note, thank you so much for joining us. Shout out to our brother, Brother Bless, for coming here and uh, having a, a good conversation. I thought it, that we had a very nice conversation. And the brother, of course, is a believer in, in Christ, Jesus Christ. Shout out to our people in London. Shout out to Just Acting, also from the UK. Just Acting. Shout out to Just Acting from the UK. Amir says, I'll tell you, these guys come on for the religious debates. Then when the heat gets turned up, they, they find a way out. I want the, oh, I know who you're talking about. I want that NOI guy to come back and finish up. Do, do y'all really want that NOI guy to come back? Because I will bring him back. I'll bring him back. He keeps bothering me about coming back. So if you want me to bring him back and he has a friend, we'll bring him back. So just let me know in the comments, do you want that brother, the NOI guy, back? And brother Khalil said he wants to come when those brothers come. So we, I'm going to have to, I'm gonna have to keep everything orderly and civil because those type of conversations, you, you know how emotional people get. But if you guys, so brothers and sisters, if you want that brother to come back and you want us to have a conversation again, I'll talk to him and we'll, we'll bring them all back here. And brother Khalil, and uh, we'll try to have a civil conversation. Cause I'm telling you, if it, be, if it gets, uh, if it gets uncivil, I got to cut it quick. I'm not going to do that. We should know how to we should know how to talk to each other without going crazy. And then these brothers are taught the Nation of Islam teaches that we're supposed to be the creators of civilization. But you don't act civilized. It makes no sense. So let me catch up with some of these uh, with the comments here, and we're going to call it a day. Exactly. Love is the key. If you really don't love nobody, nothing's going to happen. Some of these people, they claim they love, but they really just want to use you for their agenda. And I'll be damned if I'm going to be used for your crap. I'm not interested in that. And of course, Amir want us to uh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'll make sure he's free. Of course, Brother Amir wants to bring him back. And I want to thank everyone again for joining us on this spontaneous commercial free. I didn't get a chance to play my commercial. Commercial free edition of the Reality Temple on Earth. So as our brother, Don Cornelius used to always say, as in parting, I wish us love, peace, and soul. And we are already 5,000.